Let's get a check on that forecast now Yay. with meteorologist the seconds. I was even looking forward <laughs> to the cool down yeah. coming ahead, but I saw some clouds out there earlier. Yeah. Rain coming. The pressure <laughs> of the no. weekend. Yes, yes. We'll deal with some rain, but that also brings us some relief from the heat, the okay. rain, the clouds. By Sunday, good. it will be gorgeous. Though. Okay, so good. it's going to be one of those two-part weekends. And actually, tomorrow won't be too bad because you know what? It will not be as hot as it has been. And that is going to be quite a big improvement. And you'll notice a difference definitely this past week we've been breaking records with our heat. Right now we are seeing some clouds building from our CBS for camera and Doral. And if you're going to be out and about this afternoon, make sure you have your umbrella. We do have a few showers here and there. It is a sunny view from our Key West camera. But yeah, here's that front that is leading to some rain already across parts of central and north Florida. There's some moisture associated with it. So ahead of it, not only are we warm and steamy, but we're also dealing with the heating of the day, getting some showers going, even a few downpours early earlier near Pompano Beach, now Oakland Park, and also a Lauderdale Lakes dealing with the showers. Those are continuing to move southward as well as across the upper keys right now. The wind calm in Miami, but elsewhere out of the east, about three miles an hour right now, 86 in Miami and 87 in Homestead, low 80s in Fort Lauderdale and Pompano Beach due to the rain, low 80s down through the keys. However, it does feel like the 90s for some spots because it is so sticky out there and the humidity is so high. That'll be changing to less humid as we get into the weekend, but look at how cold it is around the rest of the U.S. Right now, most of the eastern and central portions of the country are dealing with at or below freezing temperatures, and this isn't even factoring the wind chills, so already getting a little taste of winter there. In the meantime, the western half of the country a little milder, especially in Vegas, Phoenix, L.A. right now to the 60s and 70s, yet widespread 20s and 30s for much of the eastern half. And we're dealing with some wet weather as well across Texas and streaming across portions of the Gulf Coast states associated with this front, the same front that's bringing that Arctic blast of air across the rest of the U.S. This front is going to, of course, lose a little bit of its own by the time it gets here. However, with a more of a cooler conditions in terms of temperatures dropping to around 80 degrees, which is where it should be at this time of year, and a gusty breeze as we head into Monday and Tuesday, we'll warm back up, but then another cold front arrives middle of next week and winter high pressure will be taking over. Highs will be in the upper 70s. For today, 89 degrees. There could be a few areas time break Breaking some records and yes, some showers and storms will develop. That's what the models are indicating. So keep your ring gear close for boaters. Winds northeast tend not cease to a light chop on the bays tonight. Scattered showers with the potential for some downpours with the mid 70s. Homecoming weekend is kicking off today for the University of Miami and tomorrow is the game at Hard Rock Stadium when the Miami Hurricanes take on the Louisville Cardinals at 3:30 p.m. Breezy, mostly cloudy. At least it won't be hot, hot as it has been low 80s and the chance for scattered showers but could see some gusts to 20 miles an hour. So there you see the chance for some more showers the rest of the day. And as we head into the weekend for your Saturday, it is looking soggy at times as we will see those highs back to normal at least and then warming up through Monday and Tuesday, but cooler by Wednesday.